how to create Upwork portfolio in 2021. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own Upwork portfolio and you don't even need to have paid clients for it. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is of course, come over to Upwork and under your profile. And what I want you guys to do is click on view profile. Now, once you click on view profile, it'll take you over to your profile homepage. And what you want to do is scroll down and over here, you will see your portfolio. So this is my portfolio over here. I basically have not, you know, updated my portfolio in quite some time. So hopefully I'll do that as well while making this video, of course. So what are portfolios? Well, portfolios are very, very important. They basically help the client know that how much you have worked and what kind of projects you have dealt with. So it's very important to have a really, really good portfolio. So as you can see, I've only had it for videos on it, even though I've made quite a lot i don't know the exact number but i'm sure it's way way more than just four so i'm going to show you how you can add more portfolios you know update my portfolio as well two birds with one stone am i right now over here as you can see this is my portfolio as well so over here i have typed in all this bio now what you can do you have to like basically give yourself a introduction and it has to be really really powerful and it has and it doesn't have to be overwhelming as well it can be simple and it can be easy you don't have to like you know go overboard so make it really really simple and make it really really easy to you know basically enter things onto your portfolio what you basically need to do is you have to have your projects ready so basically you have to have your projects ready meaning if you have completed a work or you've been a part of that project what you need to do is you have to have it ready or upload it onto your drive so over here this is my drive and over here and i'm gonna go over to a couple of videos that i made let's go into this folder i think i made these videos so basically what i'm going to do now is i'm gonna go back over here and i'm gonna click on add portfolio on this plus button and once i do that it'll take me over to this pro page over here here basically i'll add the projects and over here what i want to do is i'm going to enter in the title as well so let me just go back and i'm gonna copy the name of this project and let me just copy it real quick go back enter in the name okay so it's part of a video production yes of course and the video editing no it was basically content creation i had to do everything i had to provide the voiceover and the, make the video and write the script and everything so the completion date i don't remember let me just check when did i upload this so september 7th not that far okay so let me just change up the date as well can i you know change okay i can so it's september 7th 2021 yeah now we just have to select the template now over here what you have to do is you have a couple of options you can show your uh, portfolio as a gallery or as a case study or as a classic now basically it displays the image or video one at a time highlights the project problem and your solutions or the classic one where the client can scroll through your work i'm going to keep it gallery since i like it that way you know and i'm going to go to add details so over here i'm going to add a, a link to my this video i'm going to copy this link come back over here and i'm going to paste that link i guess i can't do that okay so what we can do now is we have to drag and drop the image over here uh, i have to find this image where did i put this where did i put this project go into project um go into the, this one completed no match found that's weird okay i think it's going to be okay this is very weird okay so i think i have to upload the image of that or you know paste the link to your youtube or vimeo okay so basically i have to upload this onto youtube as well okay so let me just go ahead and do that uh, let me go over to youtube and over here let me just you know your channel and over here upload this video select the file and go over here project and what you basically are doing over here is basically just uploading the video 
that you created so once you have uploaded the video all you have to do now next is just you know private it uh let me just private uh no it's this is made for no it's not made for kids and where is it where is it where is it where is it as you can see it's uploading as of right now it'll take at least seven minutes to upload and once it's done we can just you know copy this link in the meantime and go back over to upwork and paste that link but as you can see, it's not uploaded yet. So I have to wait for the video to be uploaded. And once it's uploaded, we can like, you know, add it onto our portfolio. That will be it. Then I'm going to show you some tips and tricks. Basically, let me just show you right now. Okay, now this was the way how you do it with a video editor or stuff like that. Now, what if you're a copywriter or someone who, you know, writes? So for that, what you need to do is you have to do quite a lot of work so you can either you know hire someone to do that for you over here on upwork as well so if i search for a job or just you know search for a talent over here so if i search for a job such as uh what you call it portfolio so if i search for portfolio management over here as you can see if i search for it we can see we have quite a lot of jobs that people are you know paying us to you know manage our portfolio so over here as you can see portfolio and fund accountant we have manga artists who is looking for someone to develop their portfolio so there are a lot of people that really want someone to create their portfolios for them and you can also you know hire someone as well for example if you're a copywriter for for a copywriter what you basically need to do is you need to you know uh go over to where you have you know edited all your text where you have you know written your blog or your website you can you know link your website as well but i would not recommend that because usually what happens is when people you know go over to check out their website your website might be down and that leaves a very bad impression so what you need to do is you need to you know create a pdf file so google docs let's just go over to google docs well now once you're over here all you have to do is you know you have to create your own document over here where you create your pdf basically you add the images and uh, the text that you've written and stuff like that so that people can check out and once you have done that all you have to do is download it into a pdf format so to download it just simply click on file come over here at the down below at downloads and over here just simply export it as a pdf document and that is basically it and once you have done that you can basically you know upload it over here as i said before it's very easy it's different for video editor as well so if i search for some copywriters so over here maybe i'll be able to see something uh, so this is the job. This is not um, what I wanted. This is find work. What we can do is we can search for talent, hire professionals and agency project. Okay, what we need to do is look for a person and see how they've set up their profile. So what we can do now is let me just go over here, copy. So if I come over here, 27 best freelance copywriters to hire in September 2017. So as you can see, these are some of the best uh, copywriters available as of right now so let me just go over to this person over here his name is david c and if you check out his profile as you can see he's really really skilled and if you check out his portfolio as you can see this is how he has basically done it so over here he's basically added a screenshot then down below he's added two links basically you know in a pdf form that will show us the entire article and then down below he's you know added a link where he was you know developing the story and composing the story and editing and developing the cover for marketing and stuff like that he basically added a link to his novel as well so this was his novel and this is how he made it so as you can see this is what i'm saying you need to create a pretty nice thumbnail now how you do you create a nice thumbnail so what you can do is come over to canva.com over here what you can do is, you know you can find uh, some images that you can create your thumbnail from uh, or i have another better website which is called pexels now over here you'll be able to find free stock images and stuff like that so if you're for example if you're you know writing an article about horror stories or crime documentaries let me just just search for crime if you search for crime we can see we have some of the images over here that we can you know upload like this image looks pretty cool we can upload this one as well or if you are you know writing an article about industrial revolution or basically just industries in general you just search for industrial and you'll basically be coming across these images that are basically giving us industrial vibes so we can like you know let's just say this one over here 
or this one actually what we can do is we can download this image and we can you know come over to canva and over here we can create a pretty nice poster or a thumbnail so over here let's just search for thumbnail so if we come over here onto thumbnails we can create some different thumbnails that we want for our you know upward portfolio so if i search for industrial as you can see over here like this one we can change we can change the background of it we can change the headings and stuff like that make it more professional however you like it you can come over here and then download the image once you have done editing it just download it and just simply you know as this person has done it as david c has done it he's basically uploaded the image added some text to get, highlight what kind of book it is and then added some pdf files down below and link them to showcase his works and let's just see another person real quick so if i come over here let's just choose this person she is also a pretty nice worker she has 500k earnings and then down below let's check out her portfolio so this is how she's basically been doing over here she basically showcases the images she's a copywriter seo she has a landing page and she writes in english and french and then down below she's you know uh, advertised her website where she has uploaded all of her work so this is the website creation this is emailing campaign and this is the brochure or content creation and design stuff like that what she's done is she's basically organized her portfolio so that is pretty good actually we can do we should be able to do that as well she basically divided her entire work into three categories which is pretty cool now that's also a pretty nice hint as well so let's just check out another person this person has a 5.5 rating and let's just check out someone with who has done quite a lot of jobs not just you know four or five so this person over here andrew j he has done 55 jobs i think the most i've seen as of right now yeah so let's check out his portfolio he has a 99 percent job success score which is quite crazy and he has at least 20k in earnings and he's one of the top rated ones as well over here as you can see this is how he has basically done it just like the person before added the thumbnail then down below he basically gave out his services and stuff like that he basically does ghostwrite services novels ebooks and written languages is only in english and then down below he's basically given his first book of a three paranormal romance series as well basically link them down below so if people want to check him out they can check him out as well now let's see if our video has been uploaded as we can see over here it has been uploaded now we can go ahead and click on next uh, but before that uh, let's just choose a thumbnail let's just choose this one over here i wanted to create a private playlist this is a private unlisted and what i wanted to do is private done and click on next and now we can save it now we have the link we can copy the link we can go back over here add the video link as you can see over here this is it save it over here and now we can you know video format this is an mp4 choose a you know video production deliverables so it was basically a tech video and explaining and stuff like that what could it you know fall into so let's just say that it was featured yeah i used adobe premiere pro and the project url if you wanted to add a project url basically you know where their project is saved you can you know do that and then down below add a description on uh what you did in the project so i basically created this video from scratch meaning i provided the voiceover wrote the script and then finally i created the video and that's basically it after that you know what you can do is go to preview and this is how it will look like and if everything looks good just simply click on publish and as you can see over here our portfolio has been uploaded and now it is under review to that once they've reviewed this video they'll basically you know upload it over here they basically tell you if it was good or not and if it was eligible or not and stuff like that so that is it for this video guys that, that is how you, you basically you know create your own uh, portfolio from scratch either if you're a video editor or if you're a copywriter without having to you know have any paid clients as well so having said that if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye